Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4 Death or Dishonor. Uh, in the last episode we uh, found out that almost all of our puppets were as manpower starved as we are and we found out, uh, well that's about all we found out, uh, we also just declared war on the Axis powers so right now we are at war with, uh, uh, let's see here, is there a democratic map mode in this or a diplomatic? There it is. So we're at war with everybody in red right now, and uh, everybody in red does not particularly like us. So we've got uh, the German Reich, we've got uh, Slovakia, Italy, Vichy France, Turkey. Uh, we're also dealing with all of Japan and their allies, including the uh, Siamese Empire. Uh, and I think that's about it. I think that's only a... yeah, I think that's about it. Uh, we're allied with our alliance, which uh, is not as powerful as you'd think, uh, but we do have uh, a lot of the actual allies. So we've got the the entire, uh, where is that? Yeah, we've got the allies on our side, uh, and they're not doing half bad in this war right now. So we're, uh, we've given them uh, military access, and they've actually started landing troops in our territory to help uh, to start uh, pushing out from our territory. Uh, and the Germans are still at war with the Soviets as well. So the so they're kind of in a f at this point they've got the uh, they've got the the French front, they've got the Italian front, they've got the Balkans front, and then they've got the uh, Eastern front. So I mean they they've got a lot of fronts to this war that they're now fighting on. So we're going to uh, we're gonna start time again. Uh, we're currently waiting for Second Army to get in position. So we can pull Third Army back to their uh, preferred position that they're going to be at uh, on these border on this border here. They're also going to share Slovakia, uh, and I think Second Army just did that. So we're going to uh, take. I think this is yeah. We're going to take Third Army and we're going to put them right about there. There we go. Now they'll deploy over here, uh, and we might start thinking about offensive actions because uh, right now we've just we've taken like I said uh, Albania they're a uh, we'll do a non-aggression pact uh, with Albania under our control and uh, we took the uh, the port that uh, Italy had in the Balkans so right now Balkans is Balkan occupied except for the Turks we need to push them out as well uh, and we're apparently doing that uh, the Bulgarians are uh, actually the Bulgarians and the Greeks are actively fighting the uh, the Turks in the Bosphorus, so that's good. Yeah, we'll give military access to British Malaya, and uh, yeah. Also, uh, our first army, which is uh, not our largest army, but uh, our second largest army, is uh, slowly pushing up. I'm going to give them a two front, and then I think we're going to try and push for... Uh, Salzburg, uh, like into Germany, and see if we can actually uh, get some, uh, get them across this mountain area. If we can do that, maybe we can push out Second Army to get Vienna and uh, the Slovakia capital, which I can't pronounce because I can't pronounce anything. Uh, we'll see how that goes. I mean, the Germans have made very little actual effort to push into our territory, knock on wood, so who knows what's going to happen. Though it looks like we haven't actually encircled Turkish troops which is surprising good job AI yeah they're making headway <laughs> Bulgaria being the only country that actively uh, actively accepted our demands of puppeting without fighting still has their entire military so uh, yeah that's uh, that's a thing uh, so they're the actual secondary military power in the second Balkan League uh, it's Romania, then Bulgaria, and then everyone else after that. Uh, and Hungary's still disarmed, I believe, so that's a problem for Hungary. Uh, do they have troops on the border? As, as does uh, as does Serbia, I think, or uh, or Hungary, or I don't know. There's there's a lot of people in this alliance that. Uh... All right. So what I think we're gonna do is we're gonna have we're gonna have first army. Their objective is going to be to push to. The outskirts of Salzburg. Actually, what we're going to do is we're going to try and take this river here. That includes Vienna. And we're just going to start an attack. We're not going to use much uh, planning for this. We're just going to push up. It's mostly empty. And we're going to see how this goes. How goes the uh, third army redeployment? They're almost there. 
Third Army is going to basically remain stationary. I don't believe I want them to push for that far. And we're going to change our recruitment uh, law to, to extensive conscription once we... Uh... Okay, National Spain joined the Axis. That's a problem. We'll get Canada and British Raj in on this. Okay, so that's a problem. That's going to completely destroy the Free French uh, foothold there if they start pushing. Alright, we're starting to make headway. I haven't seen a lot of German troops. I think they're mostly staying on the Russian border. That or they're fighting in uh, Free France. Or they're fighting in uh, what used to be Vichy France. Because of the... Uh, because uh, of the allied landings there. Uh, either or, uh, it's good for us. Though the uh, the Turks have uh, redeployed quite a lot of troops to... Uh, uh, that's because... Okay, because the Greeks... Yeah. Yeah, damn you, the Greeks. The Greeks took the land, so now uh, Belgium does not... Uh, either they, they have the, the ability to go into their territory, they just don't care. That's a problem. So the, we're just going to push up. We're going to take this southern tip of Germany. Uh, second army might make a push to try and take Slovakia. I mean, it's pretty underdefended. Then we'll release Slovakia as an independent uh, Balkan nation, a part of the Balkan League. Uh, that's going to be the objective, at least. And it looks like the Russians are pushing back in Minsk, so they've actually retake, retaken that. So the Germans are... So far, it, it looks like they're they're faltering. Uh, I mean, we'll see. Uh we can only hope. What are we missing? Missing equipment production. Anti-tank. Oh, we don't... Do we have spare factory for an anti-tank? Can we... What the hell? Why do we not? Is it just because of all of our... Yeah. It's because we don't have the ability to get that steel anymore. Oh, okay. Okay. So, National Spain joined our fight. Yes, you can have military access. Yes, you can do that. Yes. All of these people, you can have military access. It's perfectly fine. Alright, let's see if we can find some steel. That's our biggest problem right now. No legal transport path to us. Okay. We can get it from the Soviet Union, I think, though. So let's, uh... Let's do that. Let's take the Soviets. Get as much as we can. Yes, we'll do as much as we can, because we're going to need that for our production. There we go. There we go. Okay, we're making making headway. This, uh, this army's pushing. We could, uh, could pull back, or, no, nope, that's not what we're wanting. What I want is them to pull back here. And then our, if I can get, if I can press this button, there we go. We can get 1st Army to take over this whole front, we can get 2nd Army to just take the Slovakian front, and then 3rd Army to take this long front here. Either way, we're making headway. What do we got right now? So, our, we're doing alright. We've only taken about 300 casualties. Bulgaria's taking the most of 2k. Uh, Turkey's taking 12k casualties, Slovakia 1k. Is Germany taking any casualties? No, I don't think they're actually fighting us. I think it's all Slovakian troops down here. I think Germany's redeployed somewhere else. Uh, probably, probably to France. Probably to France or the Russian theater. I'm, either or. Take this river. Come on. You still missing an anti-tank? Yes, we are. I think this is probably the, uh, foreign divisions that had anti-tank uh, support in there. Alright. Second army. Okay, the fall of Gibraltar. 
Fall of Gibraltar. Oh, okay, yeah. For the first time since it was seized by the British more than two centuries ago, Gibraltar is back in Spanish hands. News coming in from the territory uh, territory report that most of the garrison had sur has surrendered, although a few stubborn holdouts have retreated to the tunnels running under the rock. At the press conference in Madrid, representatives of the government uh, stated that Gibraltar is henceforth to be considered Spanish territory in perpetuity. British diplomats have unsurprisingly debunked this statement, dismissing it as other utter nonsense. So that's a thing. Uh, so the Mediterranean is now mostly, uh, mostly, uh, eh, I don't know. It's pretty mixed, actually. I mean, there's only one way to get in, and that's still under control. Well, there's two ways to get in. One in Axis hands, one in Allied hands. So it's eh, not actually as huge of a deal. So let's get Second Army. Their objective is going to be to take Slovakia. Their whole objective, just to take it. So, hold on. Yeah, okay. So that's the objective. Let's let them get in position and then we'll launch the offensive. Though it looks like uh, our push into southern Germany here has uh, succeeded with Vienna being uh, taken by, uh, by our alliance, which is very good for us. Uh, the Soviets have definitely pushed back the Germans quite far. Uh, I'm thinking maybe Third Army could uh, shrink up there. Actually, Third Army could uh, get rid of this section here. We don't need the... Uh, we don't need the uh, Soviets garrisoned right now. What we need is uh, the uh, the Germans garrisoned, and we might start pushing up uh, to uh, to take some territory. Uh, let's start our attack. Yeah, let's start our attack in Slovakia. Yeah, and the Allies are pushing through our territory, so that's uh, that's good for us. We're we're gaining that land back. Hmm. Yeah, we still haven't taken that many casualties. Uh, we're doing all right. Losses about four thousand. They've lost about fourteen thousand in this war. Start pushing along the uh, the gaps in their defenses. go yeah really we're not looking for a lot of territory in this we just want to puppet Slovakia pu uh, free or we want to free Slovakia then puppet them into the alliance we want to puppet we want to free and then puppet uh, uh, Albania uh, we might also want to take Turkey or at least we want to take this side of the Bosphorus maybe just for Romania's sake we'll just take this for uh, both sides of the Bosphorus, uh, the straight for Romania, then, uh, then actually, uh, free, uh, Turkey, or, well, not free Turkey, just puppet Turkey, uh, because they're not actually part of the Axis. Okay, Finland is capitulated, so, uh, huh. So, they're no longer a thing, though technically they are, they still have, uh, they still have, uh, Aland. Slovakia is slowly capitulating, or slowly getting pushed back, getting pushed back. There's uh, not too much resistance, really. Pretty open border, in all honesty. What I think we might do is third army is going to take this little bit of Slovakia. Just go into there. It's not a big deal. No one's defending it. Probably won't take that many casualties anyways. How goes the rest of the war? Going well, actually. Yeah, Germany's slowly folding. Uh, they haven't made any pushes into uh, Italy, though. Uh, southern Italy. How goes the Turkish front? Eh, not the best. Alright. We've taken almost all of Slovakia. Just two more provinces. Yep. Just gotta take the capital city. Come on. How goes everything? Yep, we're still outdoing them for losses, though we've taken uh, we've, fake, we've taken a lot more in this push.
how goes our political power. Once we get to 150, we can change our uh, recruitment law. Get a tank to push in through there. Okay, Slovakia has capitulated. Uh, something something has announced uh, that the cowardly Slovakian nation could no longer withstand the pressure from the overwhelming presence of the... Uh, the uh, Oh, God. Oh. I know the way to pronounce this. I said it earlier in the episode, but I'm just blanking on it. Forces throughout the country. Slovakian government uh, chose to flee the country and has gone into exile. Their main forces have capitulated in the kingdom of blank and blank. Uh, is now under control of their home area. That's just a generic message. Probably shouldn't have read that. Okay, so... Uh, Hungary's taken a bit of land, uh, as... Okay. It's, it's... I have I have no idea. Oh, God. I, I said it earlier this episode. Okay, so, so they've split the northern uh, bit of land together, which is good. Uh, them being bigger only helps us. Uh, yeah, and the allies pushing along our border is actually giving us, uh... Actually giving us more controlled area. Yeah, we're doing all right. Hmm. So all we need to do is just, uh... I think the next thing we need to do is maybe, uh... Oh, what do we want to do? I was thinking, uh... Detaching some troops and then sending them down to Turkey and then uh, pushing them out of the Bosphorus. Might be a thing, but that would be a little bit, uh... It's a little bit too early to do that. We need some more, uh... We need more men to fill out those uniforms before we can start a major offensive like that. Though, uh... The gateway to Prague is completely open. So let's get First Army. Their objective is going to be to take the former part of, uh... Czechoslovakia. And just start that. No real trouble in that, because there's no, uh, no Germans. In fact, we might be able to, uh, oh, we could, we might be able to bum rush the Germans, uh, bum rush the, uh, the Germans right into Berlin. It is a possibility. Okay, we got Field Hospital. Which I think is all those. We're just going to keep going on this. We need Engineering Company 2, because I think we actually have some Engineering Companies in our, uh, in our, uh, army. Go to Speed 3. There's not really any resistance going on. Germans are spread very thin, and it's, uh, it's taking everything they've got to actually, uh, fight us off. We are, uh, not seeing much inside of former, uh, well, the, well, I guess... I guess this is the Czech part of Czechoslovakia, so we're uh, not seeing much. Take that little bit right there. Take that airport. Push out through there. Just keep pushing. Alright, so first things first, we are going to take extensive conscription. Oh, that's not a, that's not a lot of troops. That, that is a lot less than I originally thought we were going to be getting. Oh, that's... that's uh, not good. Okay. Uh... So we can actually take uh, some more offensive actions. I think, uh, I think let's try and take a bite at a former Poland here. Just push out a bit of a salient and start. Let's also uh, change the path of this to uh, something like that. Okay. Yes, Belgium, you can have a non-aggression pact. I think I already said yes to that, like, three times. At least it feels like it. <sighs> yeah, making good headway here. Thought this war was going to be the end of us, but it uh, doesn't look like it. Have the Greeks increased their conscription? Yes, they have, so they actually have troops now. Hopefully a lot of people are doing that. How is Hungary doing? Are they still on... Yep, they're still on Disarmed Nation. Oh, Hungary. I think it's actually a treaty that we have, like post-World War I treaty, that uh, we didn't let them uh, get away from. Okay, we lost the embezzlement scandal. Please, for the love of God, King, don't screw us over in wartime, or else I am going to have a coup. 
or I'm gonna employ another king. Oh yeah. No real problems here. A lot of Just a lot of retreating Germans and uh, their allies. Okay, we're free in Poland. Okay, so it looks like uh, that part of the plan did not uh, go off, so we're just going to push through there. Eh, can't really. Take that little bit there. Okay, we're starting to get stretched a little thin here. We might have to to equalize our uh, our border, but we're not having too bad a problem. Again, sorry for the background noise. Uh, as I said before, we are dealing. Uh, there's a storm going on in my area, so there's a bit of a uh, Okay, modern destroyers. Um, you know what? Let's uh, let's do the coup. Let's do the coup. Hopefully that doesn't screw up everything we're doing. A lot of you guys said let's just uh, just do the coup, get rid of the guy. Okay, so the Soviet an Soviet Union annexes Tor Tanituva. It's a uh, it's actually been... it's a little late. <laughs> it's a little late. In the press release earlier today, Moscow announced the formal annexation of Tanituva. The Supreme Soviet... Uh, the Supreme Soviet agreed to the request from the Tanit... Uh, from the Tuvan Parliament for membership in the USSR. The small Tuvan People's Republic, which had only been officially recognized by the Soviet Union and Mongolia, will be organized as an autonomous... Oblast? O Oblast? I think that's... I don't know what that means. So is Turkey in... The Axis? Like, is that... Are they... No, they're not. But they're at war with a, a shitload of people. Uh, so, uh... I mean, they're close to being in the Axis, I guess. Alright, let's do this. Let's push out the uh, border here. Try and... Uh, try and get a, a flat border. At least that's what we kind of want. Go down through here. Push out this land. Yeah, there we go. Doing alright here. Doing alright. Not half bad. The Germans are slowly being pushed back on all fronts. I haven't seen a major German military unit in God knows how long. Even as we're like, God, that must, I don't know how far that is from Berlin, but it's damn close. All right, let's uh, keep pushing. Sooner or later, we'll either encounter the Germans or Berlin. That's, <laughs> those are our only options at this point. How is Third Army doing? Doing all right. They've made a uh, made a good defensive line here, we made a, or just a line in general. Getting to push into these. Uh... We're almost to Dresden. Jesus. Right, let's push through here. We don't want the uh, Germans making a counterattack here. So we can okay we have a fall of Rome the allied forces recently entered Rome after the surrender of its garrison and the city is now under military occupation most historical landmarks remain intact having weathered yet another battle for control of the city for now at least allied troops have stayed outside Vatican City at the request of the Holy See the fall of Rome is an important milestone in the Italian campaign and for some and some are wondering if this means the end of the organized resistance to the advancing allied armies in the peninsula Significant development. That looks like it probably was just a naval invasion. Uh, probably to Anzio or 
maybe I don't know because I remember the Australians uh, landed here. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, that's interesting. So Italy's falling. We've got now uh, goes the Turkish campaign. Eh, it's going. Goes everything else. We're on the outskirts of Dresden. We have actual Romanian units outside Dresden. Okay, we're not making... It's not half bad. If we can uh, get around these guys, we can actually... Uh... Yeah, okay. There we go. Whew. Okay, the Germans are starting to put forces on our border. Got some actual German armored units in front of us. Alright, let's hit Dresden. Could also probably take Leipzig, but uh, this unit's got me scared, so we're going to move over here. See about uh, getting around him. Over that river. Let's take this. Just keep pushing, take that airport. Getting close. There's not a lot of organized resistance left, and uh, what's there? Oh yeah, they've taken way more losses. Greeks, the Greeks... The Greek forces have actually taken quite a few losses as well. Almost 55,000, much more than us. They're just holding on to that penin They're holding on to the Bosphorus. Uh, 33,000 for the uh, for the Germans. Okay, King throws a lavish party. <sighs> God damn it, King. Just take the political power. So, yeah, the, uh, the Greek are holding the uh, Turkish right here. That's good, good for them, actually. Let's push this out. Try and get a try and get a shorter frontage here. Same there. We'll do that and then push up there. Uh, they pushed in through there. Let's see. Can we push an infantry unit there? There. Tack along there. Hold that mountain unit there and then push this infantry unit in there as well. A little localized defensive there. Push that out. They're attacking into there. They're not going to make too much headway. All right. Well, looking at the time, I think we're over on this episode. So if you guys enjoyed this, please uh, give a like down below. If you have any comments or criticisms, I always check the comments and very much look forward to any new comments on any of my videos. Uh, and if you like this kind of content or any of my videos you've watched previously, please subscribe and keep up to date on all my uploads and goings on of the channel. You can also check out the Discord link down below if you'd like to talk to me or anything like that. Uh, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!